So a while ago, I went to the movies and I saw IT. Based off of the Stephen King novel, which I have not personally read, though I understand it's a lot more fucked up than the movie. Straight up, I loved the movie. I'm actually planning on going to see it again this week, maybe another time or two after that as well. Listen, if I like a movie, I see it at least twice while it's in theaters. Don't ask me why, I just do. So probably definitely spoilers from here on out, just a warning if you haven't seen the movie yet. First I want to start with the cast. Absolute perfection. They couldn't have found any better actors to play the kids. And they cast actual children. Please let's keep that trend going. Between the IT movie and Stranger Things, I think that current child actors have more than proved themselves. Speaking of Stranger Things, Finn Wolfhard, who plays Mike in Stranger Things, appears in this movie. Once again, he proved what a great actor he is. I mean, his character, Richie Tozier, is the complete opposite of Mike Wheeler. While Mike is small and maybe not innocent, but appropriate, I guess, Richie Trashmouth Tozier is a loudmouth, sarcastic character who curses like a sailor and doesn't give a fuck. But we all love him anyway. Also, I, I saw this meme about Finn Wolfhard being stuck in the 80s. I mean, it makes a pretty good point, to be honest. The rest of the cast of main characters, uh, Chosen Jacobs, Sophia Lillis, Wyatt Olef, Jack Dylan Grazer, Jeremy Ray Taylor, and Jaden Le 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 Lieberher, I'm sorry, I probably totally mispronounced that, did a phenomenal job. And of course, we can't forget Bill Skarsgård, I hope I pronounced that correctly as well, as Pennywise the Clown. Okay, so going into the plot, the I think my favorite part, uh, the scene where the group goes into the sewers for one final showdown after Beverly was taken by IT was exhilarating. The losers, as the group tends to be called, came together after fighting with each other over what they should do about the evil child-eating demon clown living in the sewers. All it took was one of them being put in danger and the rest were ready to throw down. So into the sewers the group went after, you know, Mike probably, I mean we haven't seen his body, but Mike probably killed Henry Bowers for being a dick and going off the deep end by pushing him down the well. Karma's a bitch, isn't it? Then, Stan the man, Eurus, gets separated from the group, and his face almost gets eaten. Thank god the rest of the group finds him in time. Bill runs off, big surprise, right? The losers find this giant cavern where they find Beverly floating in midair and staring vacantly at the floating, dead bodies of hundreds of children. Yeah, pretty morbid. But it's Stephen King, so what do you expect? I have to admit, if there's one thing from the movie that I'm iffy about, it's the whole, oh, Beverly's in this weird trance and won't wake up, so I'm gonna kiss her and it's gonna be like Sleeping Beauty and she'll wake up. And then it actually worked? So I don't know, that, that, that was just a little weird. But then, we find Pennywise pretending to be Georgie, Bill's little bro who got killed at the beginning of the movie, and Bill knows it's not him and ends up shooting him in the head. They fight the big final boss battle, Bill gets grabbed, Richie gives a big speech before attacking the clown again, they keep fighting, defeat the clown, and yay, happy ever after, right? Nope. Well, fuck. Now, while the movie wasn't nearly as scary as I was expecting, or maybe I've just become numb to most horror movie tropes, it did something else that I've never seen a horror movie do before. Instead of seeing a character do some dumb shit and thinking, oh, well, that bitch is dead. I actually became attached to these characters. They went through character development together and had actual personalities. By the end of the movie, I knew all their names. No horror movie has ever done that before, at least not in my experience. I have high hopes for the next movie, though I wonder how they'll cast the characters' older selves. Unfortunately, we can't wait for the kids from this movie to grow up to film the next movie. I don't think I could wait that long. Now, before I finish up with this, I just want to say one thing. What the fuck? I go on the internet to find information and gifts for the movie, and I come across this huge group of people who want to fuck the clown. Why? I don't, I, I don't understand. It's literally a demon who kills kids and feeds off of fear? Like, the actor who plays the clown is one thing, but the clown itself? I'm not one to kink shame, but this is a different situation. Y'all motherfuckers need Jesus. So this was my review for the IT 2017 movie. Did you like the movie? What do you think could have been improved? What do you... What, what was your experience with the movie? Because I've heard a lot of people say that they thought it sucked. I don't know. I liked it. But leave it in the comments below if you got anything to say. 
and I might do other reviews later because this was pretty fun. So, see y'all motherfuckers next time. <laughs>